Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We are going to look at Mac's new holiday collection for 2019. This is called the Starring You Collection. As always, Mac releases both individual products and they also have sets and kits. This video is going to focus on the individual products as opposed to the curated sets and kits. So if this is something that interests you, then make sure you keep watching. Also make sure you're subscribed to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button. Follow Allure Beauty on Instagram for the upcoming giveaway especially. And of course, if you missed the last video, reviewing the new Halloween shades from Milani's Amore Matte Lipstick lineup, then make sure you go check that video out. I will link it in the upper right hand corner for you to see. All right, let's check out Mac's holiday collection called Starring You. So this collection is available for purchase through MAC Cosmetics. It should also be releasing online at Nordstrom. Might also be available eventually on Ulta.com. I'll put a link in the description box to where you can find it. And if you haven't signed up for Ebates yet, I'll put a link to that in the description box. Also, make sure you go sign up. There is cashback even through MAC's website if you purchase it directly, and definitely for Nordstrom if you purchase it there or Ulta. For the most part, MAC this time has gone with a dark and very glittery theme in terms of the packaging. Even the boxes themselves have stars designed on them. This is just a couple of examples. I want to start out by looking at the two limited edition face compacts. These retail for $42.50 each. You can see you get two of them here. One is a light combination of shades and one is a medium deep combination of shades and they're each called the star dipped face compact. And as you can see, each compact comes with four different shades. One of them looks like it's a matte color and the rest of the three are shimmering. And the packaging is entirely glittery and they close via a magnet. They open up and have full-sized mirrors inside. Here's first a look at the light compact and the shades in it. Here's the medium deep glittery packaging and the shades inside of it. Looks like both of them have as the third shade here a duochromed shade. So for the description it says that these are palettes filled with extra dimension blushes, extra dimension skin finishes, and extra dimension bronzing powders. As I always do with powder products, I'm gonna apply this with an angled fluffy brush that is the purpose of which is for uh, powders. If you want something that's a lot more dramatic, um, I will do finger swatches in just a second, but this is for people who want realistic swatches. So this first shade is the Extra Dimension Blush. This is in the shade Dipped in Stars. This is a light yellow pink. It says with gold shimmer. I'm going in for a second layer to build the color up if you want. I see that gold shimmer coming through now. It's very refined and subtle, so don't worry about it being too glittery. This is a very nice, very dull baby, baby pink color. Second shade, this is an extra dimension skin finish in the shade Sippin' on Stars. And this is supposed to be a warm peach color. Also very pretty. It's a very subtle sheen. Layer number two. Both of these shades build up pretty nicely. The skin finishes are supposed to be more subtle sheens of color. They're not your really intense, pigmented, bold blushes. Third is an extra dimension skin finish. This is in the shade Show Gold. This is a peach that breaks gold. So in the pan, you can see it's kind of like a duochrome. Now this, the shimmer on this is kind of dusty. It's like kicking up into the air as opposed to kind of sticking to the skin. Let's see if another layer fixes that. This is also something you maybe could apply with a dampened brush. Oh, it is really pretty, but it doesn't adhere as well as I'd like to the skin. You can see shimmer particles going over into these other shades too. And then fourth is another extra dimension skin finish in the shade High Sequency. And this is a soft ivory shimmer. Ooh, this one definitely melts into the skin really nicely. Beautiful, beautiful on the skin. Definitely don't need it, but if you wanted 
to layer it. Here's what a second layer is. Builds up to more of a slightly creamy, frosty sheen. Okay, there are the four extra dimension shades. Here's what they look like up close. Very pretty. I kind of do wish one of these blushes were matte, but shimmer and glitter is kind of the theme of this whole collection. And let me swatch the medium deep palette with a brush first, and then we'll do finger swatches for both palettes. All right, so moving on to the medium deep palette, we're first swatching the extra dimension bronzer in the shade Delphique. And again, it looks matte in the pan, but the description by Mac says coppery bronze with gold sparkles. Uh, yeah, I do see very subtle, very subtle, not very plentiful shimmer in there. Build up a second layer, see what we get. Layer number two. Yeah, so this is the kind of bronzer where I think you can get away with it without it showing any sparkle in artificial kind of indoor light or at night, but if you're in direct sun, you're gonna see more of that sheen. This next shade is supposed to be a blush. It says extra dimension blush in the shade cloudy copper. And Mac describes this as a metallic champagne pink. I don't know what Mac is on. <laughs> this is not a pink shade. This is like a nudie, very subtle copper. Let's do a second layer here. Layered up. Um, I do see kind of a little bit of pink shimmer in there. Uh, not enough to make this a duochrome shade, but the base sh shade itself is not pink. Third, extra dimension skin finish in Snow Flushed. MAC has recycled the shade, I think this is the third time now, before it came out as an eyeshadow, I want to say, and then I think more recently as an individual highlight shade. But people do love this, so I guess you can't really blame them. You can see it's duochrome in the pan. On the skin, it comes out as a metallic bronze pink. It has that pink and bronze shimmer that gives it that duochrome. Definitely don't need a second layer, but to stay consistent, we'll go ahead and add one on top there. Very, very shimmery. Also flaky, so once again, doesn't, you know, you're gonna get this flyaway stuff in terms of the shimmer. And fourth, extra dimension skin finish in the shade O oh Darling, which is a metallic gold. Now again, this one very much more refined and sticks to the skin. You're not getting any glitter particle flyaways. Layer number two. This is a fairly pale gold. All right, your four shades from the medium deep palette. Just know that on these two shades, a little bit of the snow flush shimmer kind of flew on top of these swatches. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and swatch these shades more heavily. Cause some of you may want to use these as eyeshadows even. So starting with the light palette. These are all very buttery smooth to the touch. Sorry, we just swatched the medium deep palette, not the light palette. This one right here is the light palette shades. Once again, very buttery smooth to the touch. Okay, so there are more heavy swatches. And this is what they look like up close. This is the medium deep palette. And this is the light palette. Next, let's look at the opalescent powder. Now, there are supposed to be two of these, and I had two in my cart until the MAC website kicked me out of my account and just all this crazy, ridiculous stuff again. Um, I don't want to complain too much, but needless to say, I am surprised at how companies don't have their stuff together in this day and age. Um, so by the time I was actually able to put my purchase through, the um, lighter shade of the opalescent powder called Shooting Star was already sold out. 
and it's still sold out, you can probably, be, you'll probably be able to purchase it on Nordstrom once, once it launches there. But for now, I have the shade Rising Star to show you. This retails for $36. I love this packaging here with the gradiated rainbow shimmer. Very beautiful. Snap closure compact, full size mirror inside, embossed stars on the compact. Swatching the shade Rising Star, described as a warm gold. Very beautiful. You can see, unlike the extra dimension formula, this is a lot richer in pigmentation, not on the subtle side. And I'm gonna leave it there because you really don't need second layer of this highlighter. So you wanted to use this as an eyeshadow. And this is more of what a heavy swatch would look like. Actually, not too much of a difference with this formula. And there's the comparison. Let's next take a look at the Star Siding Compacts. These are three eyeshadow palettes that have six shades each in them. They retail for $29.50 each. Now for these, they again have that glittery metallic um, packaging, but that's interspersed with felt cloth material. They still close via a magnet and each has a mirror inside. Here is the neutral palette. Again, we're gonna swatch these left to right over an eyeshadow primer using a dense eyeshadow brush. Here is the fuchsia palette. And here is the lavender palette. So shade number one, we're starting with the neutrals palette. The shade is Wedge. And this is a soft muted beige taupe with a matte finish. It felt pretty dry and stiff in the pan. Second shade is North Star. And this is a yellow gold with a frost finish. Very flaky bits of glitter on this one. It is just flying kind of everywhere. Shade three is Let's Roll. And this is a red bronze with high sparkle. This has a dazzle shadow formula. So still pretty um, larger kind of chunks of glitter, but doesn't fly off as much as with the previous shade. And this definitely has a duochrome, flashes from like a pinky red to a very copper shade. Shade four is Stars in My Pocket. And this is a pink champagne with glitter, also a dazzle shadow formula, super pretty. Shade number five is Star Violet. And this is a pinky brown plum with a velux pearl formula. Very buttery and creamy. And sixth is cordial. And this is a deep brown with a matte formula. All right, there are your shades for the neutral eyeshadow palette. Kind of a mixed bag. Not impressed with that second shade, very flaky, but you could probably dye that down by foiling it. And the first matte was pretty dry too. Moving on to the lavender palette, we start with the first shade, which is yogurt. And this is a soft pale pink with a matte formula. This one's much more buttery than that first matte we saw on the neutrals palette. Shade number two is shale. And this is a mauvey plum with subtle shimmer. This has a satin formula. It's just got a subtle sheen to it. Shade three is stars in sight. And this is a silver pink with sparkle. This is the Dazzle Shadow formula. Very glittery, but sticks pretty well to the skin. Shade four is Peri Twinkle. And this is a silver lilac with sparkle. Another Dazzle Shadow formula shade. Shade five is Contrast. This is a deep navy with a velvet formula. And sixth is Black Tide. Black with silver sparkle and a velvet formula. All right, there are your six shades from the Lavender palette. Much more impressive. Very consistent, good quality and texture. 
overall on all six of these shades. And then moving on to the Fuchsia palette, we start with the shade Floof. It's a little confusing because it doesn't look that fuchsia and then the outside of the packaging is this uh, pale gold. So anyway, we're starting with Floof. And this is a frosted, it says frosted off-white with a frost finish. This definitely has a pink tint to it. Very creamy, very opaque. Second shade is Pleasing to the Eye. And this is a soft white peach with a matte formula. Nice and pigmented and smooth. Third is Last Dance. And this is a peach beige with pink sparkles. This has a Dazzle shadow formula also. This is a little more flaky than the other ones that we've swatched so far. Fourth is Star Baby, which is a vibrant pink with pearl. This also has a Dazzle shadow formula, not as flaky. Doesn't have the flyaways that the previous shade did. Fifth shade is Stars in the Sky. MAC has this listed as a cool sparkling bronze with a frost finish. This is like a dirty grape shade and doesn't have very nice pigmentation to it. And sixth is Black Star. There's a dark deep black with a matte formula. All right, there are the six shades in the Fuchsia palette. Another kind of mixed bag. This one was a little, a little bit flaky and this shade was sad. All right, next up are the Spellbinder shadows. There are again a total of four, but by the time checkout happened, one of them was already sold out. That shade was Stairs to the Stars, but I have the other three to show you. So you've probably seen these before. These are the shades that actually have particles that um, are magnetic. So if you put a magnet near them, you'll actually kind of see the stripes move. They contained black ionized pigments that are magnetically charged, fusing the loose powder together. So it magically maintains its form and dimension with a rich meteoric metallic finish. And for these, you can apply using the fingers, brush, or sponge. Once again, the packaging on this is quite cool. The pots themselves are an opaque black. I don't think I've seen this before on MAC packaging. And then the lids have that multi-color um, glitter finish. And then these pots open up like this. They have a protective sheet at first. Might want to keep that. I don't know to keep it from drying out. This shade here is Swing on a Star. And this shade is Stars Align. And this shade is Wishful Thinking. Let's start with Swing on a Star. This is a muted blue purple with blue green pearl. Definitely multi dimensional. You get a lot of different colors here. Next is Wishful Thinking, described as a true purple with pink pearl. Looks kind of muddy though. And then Stars Align is a silver with purple pearl. I don't really see the purple in that very well. So here's what these look like. I'm a little disappointed at the final effect. They just look kind of muddy. The first shade is the most multi-dimensional, but unless you're really up close, if you're looking at it just from far away, it again, just kind of looks dirty and muddy. The feel and texture on these, it's very, it feels wet. Um, in the pot and kind of like a gel. Let's go ahead and pick up more product here. And I'm gonna spritz it with Fix Plus, my fingers with Fix Plus before swatching. Not sure if that was the best idea, but doesn't hurt to try, I guess. Yeah, this is not something you wanna apply with a damp brush or Ooh, using a damp um, layer of skin. Ugh. Let's try it with a brush. Let's see what kind of effect we get there. It's curious because no matter which way you swipe, these demarcation lines stay pretty much the same. All right. Get a more opaque layer of color there, which is nice. Oh yeah, I actually usually prefer uh, 
swatching with fingers on something that feels the way this formula feels, but these brush swatches are a lot better. You have to be kind of careful because you can push the product out of the pot. All right, much more opaque and smooth. But once again, I don't really know that I'm that impressed. They just look gray and muddy overall. Let's move on to the lip products, starting with the lip glasses. There are five limited edition shades available in this collection. They retail for $18.50 each. This shade is Young Star, Starring You, Counting Stars, Star Memoir, and Star Effer. Not going to say it on camera. Young Star is a light white pink with Pearl. Starring You is a cool pink with pearl. Counting Stars is a dirty gray lilac with pearl. Star Memoir is a metallic pink ruby. And Star Ever is a metallic rich violet. All right, there are your five lip gloss shades. A surprising amount of pigmentation this time around for the shades in this collection. All of them have a shimmer in them, all of them a very glossy finish. And finally, we have six shades of the Kiss of Stars lipsticks. These are all limited edition and they're different from the normal lipsticks. It says this all new lipstick texture offers an explosion of color and a glittery finish with lustrous pearlescent particles that add high shimmer minus the gritty feel. The lipstick bullet is embossed with stars and covered in glitter dust. Here's the packaging and the stunning bullet. This shade is Kiss of Stars. You got embossed stars all around in a glittery bullet. And this shade is Asterisk. This shade is Destined for Stardom. Gold Star. Starstruck and Walk of Flame. So first up is Kiss of Stars. This is a light blue pink with pearl. Starstruck is a bright pink purple fuchsia. Walk of Flame is a berry red. Asterix is deep blue with pink and purple pearl. Destined for Stardom is a bright blue silver with pink and purple pearl. And Gold Star is a peachy nude with pearl. All right, there are your six shades of this new formula lipstick. Some of these I would think maybe toppers, like the silver one and the light pink one, the first one, whereas other ones seem like more full-on lipsticks. All right, so there is pretty much the entire individual color collection from MAC for holiday 2019. I am most impressed by the packaging, the glittery packaging. I'm not a person who's that really into glitter, but I do think that the packaging on this collection this time around is very pretty. I feel lukewarm about the lipsticks. Again, visually stunning, but at the end of the day, once applied, not as impressive as I thought it would be. Lip glosses are always kind of middle of the road for me. The um, eyeshadows in the pots, not impressed at all by those. Very muddy on the skin. The eyeshadow palettes are kind of a mixed bag. I'm most impressed by the lavender one, but the neutrals and the fuchsia one were not as impressive. The highlighter is uh, very nice, so I think either of those shades would be a good pick. And then the compacts with the four blush and um, bronzer or highlighting shades from the Extra Dimension formula. Those were, I think, probably the most consistent in quality. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of this year's holiday collection. How do you think it compares to previous collections? What do you like and not like about it? And any other thoughts that you have? I hope this was helpful to you if you were curious about purchasing any of this. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.